Hello everyone. Genetically modified crops are the most rapidly adopted technology in agricultural history due to the social and economic benefits these crops offer. Crops that are genetically altered to show resistance to herbicide represent the application of transgenic techniques in agriculture. Weeds are one of the major problems encountered in crop management. Weeds compete with crops for water and nutrients and as a result decrease farming yields and productivity. Herbicides are chemicals which are used to kill unwanted plants or weeds. In this module we shall study how transgenic methods have been used to develop herbicide resistant crops. The learning objectives of this module are strategies for engineering herbicide resistance using transgenic approaches, engineering resistance to the herbicide glyphosate, commercial exploitation of transgenic technology for producing glyphosate resistant crops, disadvantages of herbicide resistant crops. Weeds are one of the major problems encountered in crop management. Weeds compete with crops for water and nutrients and as a result decrease farming yields and productivity. Herbicides are chemicals which are used to kill unwanted plants or weeds. Herbicides are commonly applied to eliminate weeds as they are more labor and energy efficient than manual or mechanical weed control. Herbicides kill plants by inactivating target proteins or enzymes essential for vital functions. These include proteins of the photosynthetic electron transport pathway or enzymes involved in biosynthetic pathways of amino acids, chlorophylls, carotenoids or fatty acids. Many herbicides have hormone-like effects and interfere with the natural growth of plants either by altering hormone levels or inhibiting their transport. Herbicides cannot discriminate between crop plants and weeds, so are difficult to use in fields. Development of herbicide resistance in crops would enable use of herbicide to selectively kill weeds. Genes that can confer resistance to herbicides need to be introduced into plants to generate such herbicide resistant crops. Several genes have been identified in bacteria and plants that confer resistance to herbicides. For example, a mutation in the photosystem 2 gene PSBA prevents triazine like herbicides from binding to its gene product, the D1 protein and hence confers resistance against this herbicide. Similarly, mutations in genes coding for important amino acid biosynthesis pathway enzymes like acetolactate synthase or enol pyruvyl shikimate phosphate or EPSP synthase lead to resistance to herbicides like sulfonyl ureas and glyophosate respectively. Some herbicide resistant genes have been identified in bacteria and include phosphenothricin acetyl transferase from streptomyces species which confer resistance against phosphenothricin if expressed in plants. Transgenic crop plants expressing these genes show herbicide resistance. Glyphosate is a broad spectrum herbicide that inhibits the enzyme 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase or EPSP synthase, which is important for synthesis of aromatic amino acids. The substrate phosphoenol pyruvate cannot bind to the active site of the EPSP synthase due to glyphosate binding. The plants treated with this herbicide die because they cannot synthesize proteins that require these amino acids. Resistance to glyphosate can be generated by expressing transgenes in crop plants that serve any of the following purposes. Transgenes that encode a target enzyme that is tolerant to the herbicide, transgenes that lead to overproduction of the target enzymes or transgenes that produce an enzyme that inactivates glyphosate. Glyphosate tolerant cell cultures of Petunia hybrida were obtained after selection on the herbicide. These petunia cell lines were found 
to overproduce EPSP synthase as a result of a 20 fold gene amplification. EPSPS gene encoding wild type EPSP synthase from Petunia under the control of cauliflower mosaic virus 35S promoter has been transformed into other crop plants and overexpressed. The transgenic plants were significantly tolerant to glyphosate. Similarly, a gene fusion between the transit peptide sequence of Petunia cDNA and an E. coli gene which encodes a highly glyphosate tolerant EPSP synthase yielded transgenic tobacco plants which showed higher tolerance to glyphosate than plants overexpressing the wild type EPSPS gene. Similarly, a naturally occurring EPSP synthase gene identified from agrobacterium species strain CP4 conferred tolerance to glyphosate. Glyphosate is extensively and rapidly metabolized by the enzyme glyphosate oxidoreductase. Two glyphosate metabolizing pathways have been identified in microorganisms. The first pathway involves the oxidative cleavage of NC bond to yield aminomethyl phosphonic acid which is further metabolized into inorganic phosphate. In the second pathway, the CP bond was cleaved by a carbon phosphorus lyase to yield sarcosine which is further metabolized into non-toxic compounds. Transgenics expressing these enzymes form the basis of the commercially available Roundup Ready crops. The Roundup Ready crops were first produced commercially by Monsanto. These crops show the presence of a mutant EPSP gene from an agrobacterium tumefaciens strain CP4, the expression of which is driven by a 35S CAMV promoter. The gene product is targeted to the chloroplast, the organelle where this enzyme acts, using a chloroplast transit peptide coding sequence. This modified EPSP is expressed in large amounts because of the strong promoter and allows aromatic acid synthesis when the native EPSP synthase is inhibited by glyphosate application. While commercially available transgenic herbicide resistant plants represent a new method of crop management and decrease the efforts required for weed removal, the use of such crops over time has led to the development of weeds showing resistance to glyphosate due to horizontal gene transfer of the transgene from crops to weeds. Such superweeds have defeated the purpose of developing herbicide resistant crop plants. Let us summarize what we have studied in this module. Herbicide resistant crops, particularly glyphosate resistant crops, have transformed the way many growers manage weeds. The genetically modified herbicide resistant crops can be made by overexpressing the target gene. Modifying the herbicide binding site on the target enzyme or by transgenic expression of an enzyme that detoxifies the herbicide. Commercial production of herbicide resistant crops has been based on the CP4 EPSPS gene that encodes for glyphosate resistant 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase. At the current rate of evolution of resistance in some weeds, a transgenic approach for evolving herbicide resistant crops is being questioned. The module can be summarized as the herbicide resistant crops have helped the growers to reduce weed menace. However, the evolution of resistance in the weeds to these herbicides poses a threat to the success of transgenic approach of induced herbicide resistance. Thank you.